Kamal Z is a Christian hip-hop artist from Kansas City, Missouri, using his music to share God's message. And he's with us here today. How are you doing? Hey, I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for having me on the show, man. Yeah, it's great to have you on the show. Now, you have got this new album called Grind Season. Can you tell me a little bit about that album? What's the kind of style of it? Well, you know, uh, Grind Season is a, it's a Christian hip-hop style. It's uh, meant to influence. It's meant to be positive and put some positive out in the world. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Yeah, absolutely. What gave you the idea for the seasons? Because I like the album cover. It's got Thanks. some nice little artwork there. Well, you know, um, if you look at the album artwork on it, you know, it has a uh, spring... Mm. You know, all four of the different seasons on there. So what gave me the idea to do that is because, you know, um, um, just pretty much, you know, every day should be a grind. Mm -hmm. We grind all year round and it should be a nonstop thing, you know. And if you look at it, it's like kind of like a clock. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen that. It looks like a clock. So, you know, it's, it's just time to just grind pretty much, you know. Yeah, is that about twenty past ten? I make it by that clock. Yeah, I, I, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the song that you've released for it is called "Time," so I guess that also links to the yep. clock. How would you describe that song? Well, time, time is a song, pretty much um, explaining, you know, just uh, time is limited to each and every last one of us. Yeah. When you think about it, we get about 12 to 24 hours in a, in a day, depending on who you are. And uh, we can't waste it. Time is precious, you know, to each, every last one of us. It's a commodity. So uh, within that time, you know, you can only do so much. So yeah. uh, time is a song also that my wife kind of like inspired me to do. I'm mostly a rapper, yeah. you know, but she wanted me to like test my singing abilities as well. But um it goes pretty much with the the, um, the kind of theme I was going for in my in my EP called Grind Season. It's about grinding, you know. what I'm saying this this song is not only talking about grinding, but it's you know talking about the failures that we deal with in life, you know. And when those failures happen, the best thing you can do is get back up, get back on the horse, and grind again. Yeah. So it's an inspirational song. Anyone can listen to. Anyone can take and, and get a message. I try to make sure all my songs have a message in them. Yeah. So, mm, absolutely. And how long did it take you to write the song? Oh, uh, you know, uh, I try to write the song depending on you know what I'm saying what the Lord gives me. Mm. Um, so sometimes it might take you know a day, uh, it might take a couple hours. It just depends on you know what I'm saying uh, what the Spirit is leading me to do, pretty much. So. Yeah. But it took me about, I probably took me about a week or two to write that song. Mm. So, yeah, yeah, I was pretty much in that time frame. Yeah, and you've released a music video for it as well recently. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, you can check it out on YouTube. Mm. And what's it like filming a music video in these times? I take it, you know, you can't have a big group of people if you wanted to do that. So I take it, a lot of it, you have to follow some restrictions. Yeah. Well, you know, um, you know, it, it's pretty difficult trying to, you know, film. I imagine trying to film something in this time of day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Money is short for yeah. a lot of different people. Budgets, I'm pretty sure, are cut short, you know. But, um, you know, it, it, I only had like a one-man crew. It was just me doing it. So it wasn't like too tough for me to do. Yeah. You know, I, it wasn't too much of a restriction. The, the, the whole... Um, Video took place pretty much in a hotel, uh. and you know I wasn't out in the public or anything, so uh, I was pretty fortunate to do it like that, though. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it comes across quite well. It's clear that it's mainly in a hotel or a house, so I suppose you know it's easily yeah. done. Yeah, mm. yeah. So how did you first start to get interested in making music in the first place? What was it that kickstarted this passion? Well, my family uh, are uh, are musicians. They do music. Um, I come from a, a heavily church uh, background. My father's a pastor uh, out here in Kansas City. What um, kind of got me started doing in the, doing the music a little bit more is um, uh, I was a mainstream rapper. Yeah. And then I, I conformed over to Christian hip hop. And um, my, my father 
and the church allowed me to be able to cultivate my skills. Mm. You know, in the church, every youth Sunday, he would allow me to be able to get up there and perform, wow. you know, and speak what's on my mind. So he allowed me to, you know, just like I said, cultivate myself in a time. I feel like, you know, Christian hip hop is still kind of new to the world. And, you know, a lot of people probably don't even know what Christian hip hop is. So I've been doing this for about almost 10 years now. Yeah. So to do that 10 years back is kind of crazy, especially in a more traditional church where something like that isn't like, you know, seen or, you know, so yeah. I was kind of like the first to kind of do something like that at that church. But people gravitated to it and they loved it and they allowed me to continue to cultivate my skills. Yeah, I take it a lot of people aren't familiar with Christian hip hop because if you hear Christian music, you kind of associate it with hymns and stuff that you traditionally yeah. sing at church. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely. Uh, so, you know, something like that is something unorthodox. It kind of sounds like it could have a, a worldly style to it. Mm. But if you listen for the words, you know, and you listen to what the message is actually saying, you can see the, the Christian resemblance to it and it has a Christian origin to it. So Yeah, absolutely. And then how <laughs> did you go from performing in the church to kind of doing this as a almost professional thing? Yeah, everything starts off, you know, small. It starts off off as a hobby, I would say. And um, um, I don't know, the Lord kind of just uh, pressed it on my heart to get more serious about it. I seen I was getting kind of good at it as well. And I, I started seeing that it was probably an actual gift that God's given me. So I'm like, maybe I can do something more with this from performing on Youth Sundays. I started taking that and performing at different other churches in the Kansas City, Missouri area. Then I took that and I, I started going, you know, to different states and wow. performing. So, you know, yeah. So it just continued to just keep elevating. I just continue to keep pressing towards, you know, and, and, and reaching new heights. So, yeah, absolutely. Kind of yeah. took on a life of his own. So, you know, <laughs> you were getting around quite a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am. And were there any famous musicians that you look up to? Oh, believe it or not, man. Um, um, I used to look up to a lot of the people um, at first when you first start out, you know, I'm doing Christian hip hop. Believe it or not, I, I, I looked up to a few artists in the world. Yeah. You know, one of my favorite artists used to be T.I. And because he was so lyrical and he also, you know, um, demonstrated a story in his music. So, mm -hmm. you know, you kind of take that and, you know, you evolve a little bit more the more you keep progressing and doing music. So. Now I listen to just mostly Christian music. Yeah. The the Christian artists I would say I would look up to uh, would be uh, Bizzle. Mm. I don't know if you ever heard of Bizzle. <laughs> I don't yeah, think Bizzle. so. Yeah, Bizzle's pretty solid guy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, stand up guy. He, you know he's pretty solid in the Christian music. Another guy I look up to. I, I've actually had a chance to work with in the industry, and he's an up and coming artist himself. His name is Harmony. Ooh. I did a song with him called Last Day about a year ago. And uh, I look up to that artist because just, um, me just working with him, I can just see the genuineness of his spirit, mm -hmm. you know, and um, the, that's just who he is. He's just very genuine. And um, he's in a profession I'm doing as well. And seeing him doing things probably bigger than me, you know, kind of motivates me to be like, OK, I could do that, too. So yeah. I kind of look up to artists like that. Absolutely, yeah. And do you feel there's anything that makes your Christian hip-hop unique compared to a lot of these artists that do a similar type thing? Um, You know, uh, I think it's the automatically the Christian background. Mm. Um, if you place me with other Christian artists, I don't look at it necessarily as an art form. Yeah, I look at it as a ministry. You know, so I have an interesting perspective when I come into music. I don't look at it as it like just trying to make a hooks and make beats. I look at it as actually what can I give people today? What can I say that can inspire someone? Or what message does the Lord want to use me through to to give to someone else that might be struggling with depression, might be struggling with all different types of things, you know? So um I, I I think that's what sets me apart a little bit. I look at it as a ministry instead of necessarily just like a, 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 a art thing, you know. Yeah. So, 
if that makes sense to you. <laughs> but yeah, I was going to ask, cause did you ever think about going into other genres or is Christian music kind of what you feel is your calling? Yeah, I think uh, Christian music is definitely my calling, though. You know, I never even wanted to be a rapper. Yeah. But, you know, I, I didn't expect 10 years or 15 years ago I would be doing this for God. But, you know, I think Lord directs our paths always. So, um, yeah, I I tried, believe it or not, uh, earlier in my ministry, um, um, trying to go maybe back mainstream. But then, you know, when I did that, I just didn't feel it. You know, I didn't know that the Lord was working on my heart through the times I was actually, you know, ministering to other people and going out and performing. So I just didn't have an urge to do it anymore. So Christian is predominantly what I do, Yeah. you know, Christian music. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And do you have <laughs> any highlights since you've been making music? Oh, uh, yeah. I've, I've, I've had the, the opportunity to uh, my first album for Jehovah. I did that song in 2018 mm -hmm. that uh, I have a song on there called Tripping. Mm -hmm. And that song is featured on a, a major emotion film that's coming out this year uh, mm -hmm. featuring Milo Gibson and Lauren Fishburne. Wow. It's called Under the Stadium Lights, June 4th. It'll be coming out. So I had a chance to have a, uh, a song placement in that movie. Mm -hmm. Praise God. You know, um, I've, uh, yeah. So that's one of the biggest highlights I've, I've had in my career so far. Yeah, that's really impressive. I'm going to watch that movie now when it comes out. Yeah, yeah, watch it. And also, you know, I've 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 had a chance to be on uh, Yahoo mm -hmm. um, and uh, The Source magazine for, you know, 2020 hip, up and coming Christian hip hop artists. Oh. So, you know, that was a, a, a opportunity that I was given as well. So. I thank God for that. Mm, absolutely. And doing music for film, is that something that you always hope to end up doing? Yeah, the crazy thing is, you know, uh, I thought, like, you remember I told you I, I didn't think I was going to be a rapper. I yeah. was thinking I wanted to be an actor. So to have my 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 song in a film is just kind of crazy. And yeah. a guy I used to watch, you know, he's on The Matrix, you know? So <laughs> I used to watch The Matrix growing up, so I, yeah. I, I just think that's just so crazy. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and when you're not making music, do you like to get up to anything else in your spare time? Yeah, um, I'm a husband. You yeah. know, I'm a father of, of, of a son. Um, you know, in my spare time, I, I, I just like to get into the Word of God as well. Mm. You know, I got to make sure I'm, uh, I stay fed. Uh, and just spending time with family and loved ones, man, and communicating with just, you know, fellow peers and people, you know, just 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 creating something with, special with people, mm -hmm. you know, is, is something I like doing. Yeah. So, yeah, that sounds like the Christian way, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And do you have any more songs and albums that you're hoping on releasing sometime soon? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, um, my. I got a couple things in the works right now. Uh, I told you it's grind season, so after coming out with this this uh, this EP grind season, I, I I wanted to keep pressing and keep pressing and doing things. I have a music video coming out right now Ooh. called Shade. It's off of that uh, grind season uh, EP as well. Um, that's coming out uh, next month, so they can look forward to that as well. I also have uh, another project called Grind Season Two. I'm thinking about putting out. So, you know, that would be something else people could look forward to. So I'm excited. Yeah, absolutely. Well, in the meantime, where are we able to check out all the music that you have released so far, and particularly your new song, Time? Yeah, you can check that stuff out on uh, Spotify. I'm on there as Kamalzi. You can uh, check my social medias out as well at Kamalzi, K-A-M-A-L-Z-I. Um... Yeah, and that's pretty much where I'm at. Look, look me up on YouTube at Kamalzi Music. Mm. Uh, regular music, it's no K in it. Just look up, just spell K-A-M-A-Z-L-I, and music, and I'll be there. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. It's been great talking to you. Yeah, thanks for having me, man.